Hello everyone and welcome back to Combat Mission Shock Force 2 where we're gonna be trying a custom campaign today. Found it on the Battlef Battlefront forums and I'll uh, link to it in the description. Uh, it's called Valleys of Death and it's centered around uh, a US light infantry company uh, that's in a, a small forward operating base uh, or combat outpost I think a cop is, is what COP stand for uh, in Afghanistan and there will be I think 11 missions and they'll all play out on this map and it'll be a change of pace from the uh, maneuver warfare that we're used to from uh, combat mission shock force or combat mission in general uh, into more of a counterinsurgency scenario There'll be a lot of uh, smaller scale firefights, etc. Uh, we're starting off here in the first mission where the uh, first platoon of the company has just arrived into the outpost and they're already spotting enemies uh, to the north of the main gate and some in this ruined farm. So our objective is now to uh, deploy our first platoon and defend the outpost from an attack. Uh, the timer set at only 20 minutes, so I think it's going to be a short one. We have some target reference points, so I am going to definitely place one in here, since the game specifically said there was movement in there in the briefing. I'll go back to the briefing real quick. Um, Alright, fire team has been identified 100 me meters due north of the main gate. Five plus unidentified persons moving into the building marked as ruined farm have also been spotted. Keep your eyes on the swivel, there might be more out there. So we have get to take into account the possibility that the enemy might be uh, moving around here in full view just to distract us while actually the main attack is coming up from, say, the south. Um, right, because, yeah, you can see by the compass, this is the north, 100 meters due north would be right about here, I guess. Matter of fact, we can test that if we use the targeting command. Yeah, this this would be 100 meters. So this is where the enemy was spotted. So I'm going to put one target reference point right up here. And the other one, I'm not sure what I'll do with. I think I might place it on the road in case there's enemy vehicles or if there's enemy trying to escape later on. But I am going to put up an all-round defense. We've got a couple of Humvees, or actually more than a couple, we've got 10 of them. These ones in the middle are not manned. And I'm going to make sure the gunners are out, uh, out of their hatches and behind their guns. Like so. Alright. Uh, some of the guys were still, you know, asleep. There's obviously not a not everyone's on guard all the time. So we're gonna have to wake them up, get them out of those buildings and into a defensive position. Let's see, let's get one fire team here. Another one. Two two four nines in this one. Up here because we know there's a threat coming from there. The machine gun. I guess I could leave here. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Because it can perfectly cover the area where the first enemies were spotted. I will get another fire team up over here. So we get maximum firepower trained uh, on where we expect the enemy to be coming from. Might actually set up one or two, or one of the MGs up on the rooftop. Not sure what they'll be able to see from there. Put them right here. Might just be able to see over that Humvee. So let's give that a go. Face them that way and deploy them. Alright, we got a sniper. It's actually a big old boy right there. 50 caliber Barrett sniper rifle. I think I'll have him enter the trenches here too. 
Then this squad I'll split up. And I'll have the teams uh, kind of divided over the rest of the trenches. Just in case the enemy thinks it might be a good idea to flank us. While our attention is mostly to the north. Let's get him in here. Well, we still got a 360 degree perimeter forward observer I guess we'll have him on the roof so he can direct fire that should be it let's see what happens when we click the start button oh yeah that's definitely hostiles right there and very dangerous if they hit one of my Humvees with those things they are toast so let's see who spotted that you guys Alright, he's already swiveled his turret over to the left, so he's probably going to open fire, but I'm going to give him the manual command anyway. I want to make sure we destroy or at least suppress these guys immediately. I'm going to put a lot of fire on them. Looking around, that's the only thing we've spotted so far. So let's see how this pans out. Okay, they're at least suppressed. That's great. As long as we can prevent that RPG from being fired at us, I'll be happy. Okay, we've got incoming artillery and already one casualty here. They've got mortars that are... Oh god. That's gonna be a vehicle-borne IED. That shift all fire to that... Who can see that? You can. Kill that thing. Everything you've got on that, please. Now you stay on that damn roof. Clear target so when they see it. People that can see the thing, strangely. Come on, guys. Kill that fucking thing. Oh my god. Please kill it. Please kill it. Oh, Jesus. Right there, really giving us a warm welcome here. First day in the cup. Okay, let's get back to suppressing, preferably eliminating that RPG team there. Got another light casualty here, probably due to the mortars, possibly due to the VBIED, maybe some debris being thrown on them. Other than that, seem mostly okay here. Still keeping an all-around defense. Uh, now please stay on top of the roof, will ya? Deploy your weapon. These guys are like just a little further up the trench and looking at that farm. Got the RPG guy taken out, that's the most important part. Another casualty due to the mortars. Still a light casualty. I think it's the body armor that's really saving you guys. But this is accurate mortar fire for Taliban mortars. From what I've heard, they generally just lob a couple of mortar shells in a general direction that generally don't even land within the perimeter. And these have already caused multiple light casualties. You can't really go anywhere either. Okay. Seems like we've at least beaten off that first attack from over here. But we did spot these guys going in here. So I think if I can, I'll try to uh, direct some howitzers on that. 
Make it a light bombardment. Quick. General, because they're probably not in the open, they're probably in the building. Immediate. Fire mission. Over. It's really fast, by the way, one minute. Oh, that's an actual casualty right there. That's really, really good about that. that. I'm gonna be here for a long time and I don't want to lose squad leaders on the first night in here. It's pretty harsh to be putting this kind of mortifier on us in the first, the first mission. Let's see. That's another RPG. We want to take care of that real quick. Let's shift another fire team back over there. These guys are already on that. Actually, might want to set up an MG in here as well. Since they don't seem to be wanting to be on a roof. Really unfortunate, this. I don't really see how, how I could have prevented that casualty. like that might actually have been a diversion that VBIED try and get our eyes up north while they're attacking from the south and also from the east apparently they're really getting around us here and there's a oh my god look at that Roger, so far we're pinning them down and we're getting that MG to move up here so I hope that'll help Got enough bodies here to hold them off. How much just should be coming down on that ruined farm any moment? This is near a uh, target marker, I think. This should be pretty accurate. Yep. Look at that. Absolutely destroyed. Two shells. Perfect accuracy. End of mission. Oh, crap. Another casualty. Probably by mortars again. They're really hitting us hard here. Let's see if this guy can... Uh, fortunately, can't call in the fire mission from there. I can put some rounds over here. I wonder how long that would take. Let me see. There. Would take three minutes, but might be worth it. Just a single shell. Scare them off over there. I'll have to use small arms to push these guys back. There's quite a few of them. Good thing we uh, put up an all round defense. Anticipation of these kinds of shenanigans. You can't really simulate an inaccurate mortar attack by the Taliban, I think, in Shock Force, so I understand why the mortar barrage was as accurate as it was, but it's still pretty harsh. Already lost the squad leader here. These guys are taking care of them. I think he's trying to get to him. The mortars are still coming down. Okay, we've caused several Shot. casualties here. Over. Excellent. Out. Got some RPGs between them. Wanna be careful about those. Because they've been able to get within like 200 meters of the compound here, so they can easily lob an RPG in. They could do some serious damage to either one of these fire teams. Which I, by the way, I'm gonna move apart a little bit further. Or to a Humvee. These things are not made to withstand RPGs. 
Shot. Over. He can barely stop Shot. the small Out. arms. Okay. Looks like he's guiding the artillery on the target. A lot of dead enemy here. Might not, might be overkill to lob a howitzer shell in there, but why the hell not? Should have enough ammo. Oh boy, there we go again. Christ, they're really throwing everything into it. Normally, you see these VBIDs, you know, like this one, open up an attack before the infantry co comes in. And right now, it seems like they're just throwing everything they have at us. Let's hope. Uh, that is 50, you'll be able to connect. Seems like they're the only ones that can see it for now. 40. So take it out. There we go. Excellent shot by the 50. I don't think you're gonna get away from that one. So it's probably gonna blow. Hopefully. Make sure to keep up the fire on that thing. You can't see it anymore. Okay. Shot. Need that thing Over. to blow up. Shot. Out. Okay. Fire. There we go. Excellent. They did not survive that. I'm sure of that. Look at that crater. Now one. Disadvantage of the uh, combat mission, uh, I don't know, system for campaigns is that in the next mission all of these craters that destroyed the building will have been restored because it, it doesn't save the uh, destruction over campaign missions, unfortunately. It looks like there was still someone alive back here. I think he was has been thoroughly scared now that he's received the attention of some. Uh, was it 155 howitzers, I think? Let's see. Yep. I think, uh... That should have, uh, showed him that he really doesn't want to be fighting this fight anymore. Successfully taken out two VBIEDs. This really is one hell of a baptism of fire. Let's see, they took care of their, uh, squad lead, but they both... Both wounded. Yeah, that's probably enough. Let's cancel the fire mission. Shot. Over. Check fire. Check fire. Check Shot. fire. Out. That should be enough. Roger. Check I don't fire. Don't waste too much ammo. This guy's uh, pulling back. It looks like RPG guy got taken out. Could be more down here that we can't see, but I doubt they'll be. Uh, combat effective at this point. Hope we've uh, dealt with the brunt of the attack here, taken one casualty. That's one too many in my book. Fire for effect, over. I was really hoping we could, uh, and actually more than one if you count the lightly wounded. Uh, I'm not sure how that carries over between missions, but it's never a good thing. A lot of these squads took some probably shrapnel Shrapnel wounds that may have been stopped by their armor, but still cost some scrapes. Very unfortunate. I didn't notice, by the way, that this scout team in this Humvee. Might have been able to call in artillery as well. Let's see if they can. can they? Yeah, they could. I think I'll try and lob a single shell. Oops, not person personnel. Oh, there we are. Okay, we got zero kills. So the one casualty that squad leader didn't get killed, but he's wounded. He's probably not going to be back for the next mission. Four wounded. Sounds about right. 50 men okay. And he has nine men okay, 19 killed, and nine wounded. So it's a pretty good score, I'd say. Yeah, there's still a couple left here. Actually, one that survived the two howitzer shells right on top of his building, which is amazing to me. We've got that's probably a mortar spotter here. Calling in the mortars. And there is yeah, two guys left over here. Not much. 
All right, that was a short but sweet mission. I'm really curious as to what the next mission is going to be. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next part of this campaign.